Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the market. It's currently 4.20 p.m. July 19, 2021. Monday markets in the tanker today. A little bounce at the end, but overall just a brutal day for me. Brutal day, I think, for a lot of people, but I'm sure some people did very well at the same time, so it's just the way the market is sometimes. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video just hit the like button share the video and comment on the video today was one of those days just every time earnings comes around i implode and i should have a note on the day ibm reports earnings which is the first day of like the first real week last week we had some earnings but those were kind of like minimal this is the first real week where things really kick off and ibm is kind of like that note it's funny because i made money on ibm after the market closed and I should have made a lot more. Um, But let's get into it. Tough day, I'm sorry about Friday. Uh, Really, really, really boring day on Friday. I think I made like 50 bucks and I had to leave early. Um, Couldn't do a video. Actually, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. I was supposed to be in a golf tournament but it got canceled because of too much rain on the course. So with that happening, I decided to trade and unfortunately it did not work for me i'm actually reason why you know bad day you know i want to go over my bad day because it's critical to go over my bad day um helps me understand and the cool thing about it there if just to shed some light on it yeah it's a big loss for me percentage wise when i'm averaging between 50 and 200 300 dollars a green day and i take a brutal 875 loss was I didn't tilt. I didn't get so angry where I was just like jamming thousand shares, four thousand shares, you know, into this, into that. Um, I just got, I just got algoed, you know. And earnings time, you know, the algos shift a little bit and get really tough on the small caps and Australian small caps. Um, and earnings play start to get a little bit more momentum. And obviously, being a negative down day, we had the Dow down about almost 900 and something points. We had the Nasdaq down further than this. And at the end of the day, if you look at it, the SPY on the daily, this is what I was talking about last week. We need to get down to the 420 level. You know, we need to get down to 420 level and possibly the 400. Now, this is the 200. Um, but if we get down to the 200, that's a big sell off. But like, this is what we needed. We needed this. And E L Y S E L Y S Game Technology. Sorry about that. Squawker's still squawking. Anyway, uh, A E H R. Let's get into it. N R P X P was my first trade of the day. I actually traded a couple times. I thought I was going to push it. And it was way spreadier and way whippier than I thought. And, and the algo got me. And I was in a little heavier than I thought. I, I talked to my guy. And he said, keep it chill. And I said, I'm going to keep it chill. And for some reason, I was in for like a thousand shares. This thing dropped like 30 cents in no time. And I was down 300 bucks. And then AER, AEHR, um, similar price action with it. And I tried getting some of it at the end of the day. I liked it through 550. Actually, I liked it through five. Missed it because I wasn't, I wasn't watching it. Um, and these two stocks i mean sgoc i was all over it i was all over it and i just made mistakes on it um it was just really annoying so these three you know are my negative day and they you know nvidia just was kind of like a was the only tilting thing i was doing because kind of the mindset was shifting to nvidia and i was trading it right here trying to go long right here and it flushed down on me uh you know and i was waiting for 100 shares and i'm sitting there taking a couple trades on nvidia i'm down 200 bucks on it hpi mass play mrin we've traded in the past crtd it just these things weren't going like i thought cytk i was actually down 200 on um i'll bring up my equity curve in a second it looks pretty interesting uh cytk I was down like 200 and I was able to get another trade on some news. Actually, they raised the price target and I got like $170 on that news trade. So there's that Boeing. I tried breaking it down. Uh, didn't go spice. I mean, spice is life, right? I mean, it just kept climbing. I just couldn't get the winners in there. Uh, I don't know what happened there. CCL is kind of be a news play, but didn't go anywhere. AMC, nah, not much happening there. Peloton uh, was back in the mix today. You know, at the stay-at-home plays, we're getting back in the mix. And I just, you know, I got in, I think, at the 117 level and just didn't let it run up. And it actually ran up to almost 118.67. So there's 
that type of play too. IBM was actually after hours, actually had better earnings than expected. Um, and I took it, took a break of the 143 level. I actually did pretty okay. I did okay. I could have done a little bit better, but I didn't sell quick enough. It's tough in the after hours. Apple was the bounce on the spy and the, um, uh, Cues and I just kind of this is this was another kind of jam play where I kind of got in with 500 shares on Apple off the lows and it, it worked out probably not something I want to do in the for future but um, I did so fortunately worked out in my favor Tesla news play um, actually it was like two news events on top of each other and I just was in for 50 shares um, it's fun, oh, two two different trades and got fifty dollars out of it when I should have. <laughs> I could have held it for much longer and deeper, but on a down day like this, I took what I could get, you know, actually Tesla ended up on that day. So it's kind of bizarre, you know, you have Tesla up on the day and you have the overall markets pretty much squished. MRNA was the biggest miss of the day. I, I, I was in it at 98, 98, I think it was on this candle here. Um, but eventually it pulled back down against me, but I was, I got in, uh, got out, but it went up two points. But at the end of the day, it went up three, you know, 16, 17 points. MRNA was the play. Uh, Vuzi, which I hate trading. Um, it's just, they have press releases every day. They're obnoxious stock, but the news was phenomenal. It was, they're going to get bought out by Apple. Supposedly it could have been a fake rumor, but who knows? Unfortunately, I got a quick 500 shares in there popped in and i popped out and got you know 77 bucks so thank god for news there uh amd i forgot what i did on amd amd i left a lot on the table i know that um okay not loading i got in a break here i believe on the break of this candle um through the 85 89 level and it went through 86 and it climbed back and kept going i got like 86 11 or something like that but it kept going to 87 23 um, so I'm letting my gains die and let my losers win. And it's just, it's just frustrating. So I had a really rough day, I would say, uh, mentally most important part. I'm still, I'm fine. I'm good. I mean, yes, this is a huge setback. Um, I can make this up the rest of the week and, um, uh, be on the positive side for me. I just need to cut back on share size. I jumped in a little heavy on the NRXP, not knowing how whippy that thing can be, and just got algoed. And same thing with AER, AEHR. Um, you know, I can look at these numbers all day long and be frustrated, or I can move forward and just stick with the you know A plus ups tomorrow, as well as get the good news flow. We didn't really ha we had a few plays in the news. You know, I'll let me bring up the equity. I'll show you real quick how the equity equity curve went for my day um you know I, I bounced back pretty pretty well um getting down to this level here I was down 1000 got back to 564 um and got down to you know 1035 and end of the day 75 so uh, kind of ugly uh, i feel like it, i just feel like it should have been better I don't think my losses should have been big. I think I should have been at 500 down today, not 876 or even 300 um, based on what I was doing today. Well, again, it wasn't like I was doing tilting and buying 3,000 shares of that AEHR or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, oh, one mRNA trade. They must have uh, increased the margin size. I jammed it with 200 shares and it said order rejected. Um based on mar margin size. And I thought I had enough margin for 200 shares of MRNA. I mean, it's a $300 stock, but I think it's like a 25% or 50%. I, I guess I could do the math, but um, anyway, missed that one. That would have been like a two pointer with 200 shares. That could have been huge. And it is what it is. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I struggled today. I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna think about it. Best thing I'm gonna do is just come back tomorrow um, and you know have some good flow keep it chill, not jam an early trade unless I see something perfect and go from there. You guys have a good night. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video, share the video and comment. Let me know how you're doing, how you did today. If you had a good day, rough day. Um, this pullback was necessary. I mean, it's good. I think it's good. I just need, you know, not to be trading like I did. <laughs> anyway, have a good night.